Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of conics. And in this question, we are particularly dealing with the concept of hyperbola. So the question is given to us on the basis of this hyperbola. The question says, let the eccentricity E is equal to 5 by 4 for the hyperbola x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. And further, the question says that the equation of the normal at the point 8 by root 5 and 12 by 5 on the hyperbola. So this point lies on the hyperbola and the equation of the normal it is given to us here as 8 root 5x plus beta y is equal to lambda. So then they have been asked us that what is the value of lambda minus beta is equal to. So we need to figure out what is the value of lambda minus beta. And if I see the answer choices that are given to us here, it says 65, the second says 75, third says 85, and the last option tells us it's 95. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's solve for this idea. We know that for a hyperbola, x square by a square minus y square by b square equals 1, eccentricity E is 5 by 4. So when I know the eccentricity and if I use the idea of eccentricity here, I know b square, it is a square into e square minus 1. Now once I have b square equals to a square into e square minus 1, I get a square, e I already know, so if I substitute that, it's 25 by 16 minus 1. So you get b square is equal to a square. This becomes 25 minus 16, so 9 by 16. So instead of b square, you get that as 9 by 16 a square. So once I have this entire thing, if I put it here as my value of b square, that is 9 by 16 a square, I already know that this point 8 by root 5 and 12 by 5 lies on the hyperbola. So I can substitute x and y as those values. So I get it that 8 by root 5 and 12 by 5 lies on the hyperbola. So I can write that as x value and this is the value of y. So if I put that in the equation of the hyperbola, I get that as x square, which is 64 by 5 over a square minus it was y square by b square so y if we know already it is 12 by 5 so 144 by 25 divided by b square b square in this case is 9 by 16 a square it is equal to 1 so if i solve for that and get the answer here i get that as 64 by 5 a square Minus, here you get 144 by 25 into 16 by 9 a square is equal to 1. So if I solve for this, let's see what I get. So if I solve for this 9 ones, 9 ones are 9, 54, 9 6 are 54. So you get 16 square. Now, if I try to make the denominator same, if I multiply this by 5, I get 64 into 5, which is 320. Minus, this is 16 into 16, which is 256, divided by 25 e square is equal to 1. So with that, I get 320 minus 256, which is 64. So 64 divided by 25 e square is 1. So 25 a square is 64. And with that, I get a square is 64 by 25. Once I have a square with me, I can figure out b square also because it's told to me that b square is 9 by 16 a square. So I know b square as 9 by 16 into a square, which is 64 by 24. So you get that as 16 ones and 16 fours. So 36 by 25. So you have b square also now. You have a square also with you. 
once you get the values of a square and b square a becomes 8 by 5 from here i get b as square root of 36 which is 6 and square root of 5 which is 5 so you get a you get b now once you have a and b here with us we try to figure out the equation of normal for the hyperbola equation given to us which is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1. So let's try to find the equation of normal at this point to the hyperbola. So first of all, if I have this curve, if I find the slope of this curve, which is there. So if I differentiate it with respect to x, let's see what I get. So from this expression, I get that as 2x by a square, derivative of y square, so 2y by b square into derivative of y we are taking with respect to x or so dy by dx is equal to derivative of 1 which is 0. So from here you get 2y by b square dy by dx is equal to 2x by a square. So I get this cancelled. Now from here I get this as dy by dx is equal to x b square y a square. Now, once you have dy by dx, dy by dx is nothing but slope of the tangent to the parabola. And we know normal. So, this, let's say this is the tangent. So, we know normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent. So, slope of the normal, if I try to find out, that is nothing but we know for perpendicular line slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So slope of normal is minus 1 over the slope of tangent which is x b square over y a square. So that makes it minus y a square over x b square. So you have the slope of the normal. Now once we get the slope of the normal, I have been told to find the equation of the normal at this point. Equation of normal at this point 8 by root 5 and 12 by 5. So I substitute x as 8 by root 5. So if I try to find slope of normal at 8 by root 5 and 12 by 5. So if I substitute that values of y and x here, I get that as minus 12 by 5. <coughs> x is 8 by root 5. A square we know it already that it was. 64 by 25, b square is 36 by 25. So if I use that idea, 64 by 25, 36 by 25. So let's see what we can cancel here. We can cancel 25s. We can cancel 12 once and 12 three times. We can cancel 8 once, 8, 8 times. So you get here minus 8 by 5 over this becomes 3 by root. So from here, if you see, you get minus 8 by 15 because 5 and 3 gets multiplied and root 5 comes in the numerator. So you get minus 8 root 5 over 15. So you get this slope of the normal. Now we know that equation of the normal, if I have to find out, it is given by the equation of straight line that is y minus y1 is m x minus x1. We already know y1. That is the y coordinate of this point 12 by 5. We also know m now, that is minus 8 by 15 root 5. x also we know here, it is x and x1 is 8 by root 5. So if I solve this further, minus 8 by 15 root 5 x, and this gives you minus 8 into minus 8, so plus 64 root 5 over 15 root. So root 5 and root 5 gets cancelled and you are getting here y is equal to minus 8 by 15 root 5x plus 64 by 15 plus 12 by 5. So if I make the denominator same here also, I can multiply this with 3. So that becomes 36 by 15 and that gives you y plus 8 root 15, 8 root 5x over 15 is equal to 64 plus 36. So that is 94 and 100. So 100 over 15. So if I multiply by 15 throughout, you get 8 root 5x 
plus 15y is equal to 100. Now, once I have this, I have been told in the question that equation of the normal is 8 root 5x plus beta y is equal to lambda. So if I use that, 8 root 5x plus beta y is equal to lambda. From this expression, we get the comparison that beta is nothing but 15 and lambda is nothing but 100. Once I have lambda and beta alone with me, if I find the difference of the two, lambda minus beta is 100 minus 15 and that is equal to 85. So I get the answer to the question which is asked to us here and that matches with 85. So 85 is the answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first with the idea of eccentricity, we developed the formula for that and we got the relation for a square and b square. Once I got the relation for a square and b square, I put that in my general equation of hyperbola. So once I put that and with the coordinates x comma y, I got a square as 64 by 25. From that, I got b square using the relation of a square as 36 by 25. Once I got that, I used my general form of hyperbola to find slope of tangent. Then I found the slope of normal, which is perpendicular to slope of tangent. And then we found the slope at this point, which is given on the hyperbola. So that gives you this slope minus 8 by 15 root 5. Then we figured out the equation of normal using the straight line formula, which is y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. That gives us the equation of normal as 8 root 5x plus 15y equals to 100. That when we compared with the question which is given to us as the equation of normal, we got beta as 15 and y with lambda equals to 100. We figured that lambda and beta out and just found the difference that comes out to become 85. And that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using hyperbolas and the formulas related to that. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th, as well as JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos. Do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.